Okay, wait, I'm obsessed with this. You have a new episode of your podcast, Making Space. It just dropped. This may be my favorite episode ever. Mine too. Arthur Brooks is um, a best-selling author. He wrote a, a book called um, From Strength to Strength. Mm -hmm. He talks about people who are navigating their life through its different chapters. There's the learning chapter, then there's the earning chapter, and then there's the wisdom and service chapter kind of thing. Anyway, he wrote that book with Oprah mm -hmm. about happiness, and it just caught fire. He teaches a course at Harvard, and it's the one you can't get in. It's, it's about all happiness. about happiness. And he's explaining to kids. He said that sometimes he says to these kids, this is interesting, Interesting. who these kids are so afraid of failure and he said I want you to close your eyes and visualize something because he wants them to know what it feels like he goes uh, the test scores came out and you're in the bottom third what does that feel like mm. and he they all went kind of out she goes you're about to go out into the job market your friends have jobs and you haven't gotten yours yet how does that feel and it sits with you and he goes like this and then he said then you go home and you tell your parents I didn't do well on my grades and I didn't get a job and your parents give you pity mm. and he said that the kids burst into tears why he said because pity is the worst thing you can give to your child oh you weren't able to do it yeah instead of saying I know you yes I've known you since you were four yes you didn't get that but, I, but it just, it talks about when we think we're poor thinging our child. And yeah. oh, poor, you can nurture and love right. without pitying. Yes. You can embrace because without. Because we know what it feels like to have a friend be like, yes. oh, he didn't call you. Oh. oh, did that hurt? Yeah. You know, that feels, yes. instead of being yes. like, you're going to find the next Please, year. right. That person. Um, oh, wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> What? Well, you, you, what? 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 You shared some news with them, which you've shared with me. But oh yeah, we're we're going to be moving. We're moving. I'm moving me and my kids to another location. But here's, I mean, obviously in the New York area. area. But it's, yeah. What if you were like, I'm moving to California? <laughs> Peace. No, but it's going to be. It's interesting because think about how many times you moved in your life. Because mm -hmm. you know how everyone's you you worry about oh, how my kids are going to be. Yes. What are they going to do? How are they going to adjust? But every time I moved in my life, yes, and you moved in yours, quite a lot. Yeah, it was like. All of a sudden, it was a huge adjustment. But the stories I tell about growing in my life come from those. Totally. Not from when I stayed for till fifth grade at you know Morgantown, West Virginia. But it was the transition yes. when I moved. When my parents moved us to Ni Nigeria. When I moved from you know small market to small market over and over. It's like bonding, severing. You they knew what it was like to walk into a room where you did not recognize yes. one face from the time you were how old? Yeah, since Se yeah, second grade. Forever. Yeah, forever. You knew what it was like, and, and if you can do that. And the common thread, by the way, about people who work here yeah. is that yeah. most people who work here ha went from school to school were either some, you know, like Vicki Wynn moved a hundred yes. times, M Natalie moved a yes. bunch, you moved a ton, yes. I moved a ton. Like you watch how people navigate because you've got to be able to. It also shows how resilient your kids are. I mean, yeah. I remember when we moved in the middle of seventh grade. Oh, that's hard. So we'd already had one semester, middle of seventh grade. My mom said she'd never been more proud of us walking in, we had each other, which was a That's huge beautiful. benefit. Yeah. And we walked in to this, kind of looked back at her like, oh, but walked into the school and just did it. You because and your sister knew, holding hands. Yeah, holding hands. Oh. We were there together. We had each other. But Arthur Brooks is the king. He's Arthur the Brooks, you guys. <laughs> By the way, this is, I think, my favorite episode of Making Space, except for the one I did with you. No, thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> get him wherever you get your podcast. Click the link in my bio and you can find him. But it's so worth it's listening incredible. to. You will feel lighter and better. He's got great advice, He too. really does. Uh,